peace and blessings, lovely people. Welcome to Carblessly Delicious with your host, Betty Ross Jacobs, providing you with healthy, low-carb, and keto-friendly recipes and desserts, such as today's juicy, tender meatloaf. I'm going to show you an alternative ingredient we're going to use as a substitute for the traditional breadcrumbs that will keep our carbs at a minimum low without compromising the density and delicious taste of our loaf. Well, let's get started with our prep. In order to reduce the carbs and to keep our loaf keto friendly, we're replacing the traditional bread crumbs with our keto friendly bread that we're going to soak in our almond milk to seal our loaf together. And this is going to lock in the pieces. This right here, y'all, is our secret weapon. Look at that label. Better than Brulon? That is not a lie. If you don't have any of this on hand, make sure you add it to your shopping list. Honey, this is going to take your loaf to the next level. Are you serious? Are you ready to go to the next level? Okay, my carbless darlings, this is where things get pretty messy, but trust me, your hands are the best utensils in the kitchen, the best thing for this task, because what we want to do here is blend and mix all those delicious flavors together without over mixing. So I highly suggest that you use your hands, get acquainted, come on, don't be afraid, get in there and blend all those flavors together and remember you don't want to over mix because over mixing and being too rough with your mixture will cause your loaf to be more dense so we want a nice moist tender loaf
mistake, you're only going to use half of your glaze now. Save the other half for when it comes out of the oven because you're going to top it again once it comes out and then turn the oven on roll and put it back in for five minutes. And here are the results. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Look how juicy and moist this baby is. Oh my goodness. Let your loaf sit at least 15 to 25 minutes to settle before slicing. And enjoy. Here I plated my meatloaf with green beans and butternut squash to complete the meal. Be sure to check out the video on my butternut squash which is the perfect low carb substitute for the candy yams and the sweet potatoes that we all love so much. To me it's identical in taste with fewer carbs so check out that video. And this wraps up the video, y'all. Thank you for watching, all my lovely people. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Show your girl some love. Also, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if this is your first time watching one of my videos so you could be notified every time I upload tasty inspirations like this. And for those returning, I appreciate you so, so much for your continued support for this channel. It's because of you all that I am inspired to create videos like this so we can all journey together to healthier lifestyles. I invite you to visit my website carblesslydelicious.com for more recipes like this. Until next time my lovely people, God bless you.